What is the crack and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to do an x-ray kind of see through walls ability in Unity. So I'll show you first and then I'll show you how to do it. So I have it on this blue wall here. You can put it on anything. I just have it here in front of me as a demonstration. So if you walk up to it and press E, you can see you can see through it and then either when you blink, it'll turn it back on. That's because I've extra stuff on top of it. I'm going to just show you if you press E near it, it'll turn on. And then if you look away from it, it will turn back to normal. As you see before it blinks, it turns back when I look away. So let's get into it. Normally I would show you me typing the code. I already have the code here because it's a little bit more complex than the scripts I normally do. So I don't want to bombardages with a load of crap it does not it's not much it's only 32 lines and some of them are quoted out but it's just for the fact that normally i show you like a simpler way how to do it this is the simplest way and i didn't want to redo all this and then end up fecking something up but to do it all you need to do is you can call it whatever you want i called it x-ray vision or vision i don't know how to spell so that's why i use c sharp because it's it's good so you make a public material with a capital M, call it whatever you want. I called it normal, so that's the normal material that's going to be on it. Then you make another one, which is going to be the x-ray. All my x-ray one is, is just a normal material with nothing in it. It's just, the easiest way to do it is going to GIMP or Photoshop or anything you use to make images. Get an image and put nothing in it, and then just save it off, and then when you go into Unity... Go up here and then click Alpha t t Transparent. My face cam is blocking that. Click Alpha 2 Transparent right here. And then just click Apply down here and it will make it the material. Uh, revert. And then you just drag it on and it'll make it. And then in the script you just have on the void function. Or yeah, the void function. Have, uh, also, sorry, you need a renderer and just name it Rend. And then you go rend is equal to get component renderer with the, you can see here on the screen with the the big alligator, small alligator closing it and then the two brackets and the semicolon thing. And then rend.enable equals true. You don't need to take down this or the uh, add materials or uh, add materials plus and the minus here. I was just testing it to try and make it more efficient without having to add extra stuff but this was the only way I could get it to work. And then you make a, uh, what we done with the looking, we do on trigger stay. So if you watch them videos, you can pretty much just copy that script and plop it in here. So on trigger stay, which is every, every frame, it isn't the, like the one frame you go in to, like you collide with it or exit it. This is all the frames you're colliding with it. So on trigger stay, collider, call, you can call, call whatever you want. You can call this feckin' pickle for all you want but then you'd have to go in here sorry then you need to go in here and make this pickle and then it just works I just have it as call because it's the way I learned how to do it and I just left it at that uh, so you have if call that game object dot tag is equal to looking that is what I have parented to the front of my player so if I go here here it is in the game that's what I use to look all that is, is literally a square or a cube. So all you would do is right click, go add a 3D object. You can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be square. Uh, I just added a cube. Then once you add it in, you literally scale it to the size you want. Turn off its visibility and go up to the top again where my face cam is and click tag. Add tag and type it looking. Then you click enter. Then you have to go back to your cube and then go up and then add looking to it so that's the easiest way around it um did i i think i created a new cube there didn't it yeah so let me delete that so once you have that then this will work again you don't have to call it looking you can call it again pickle if you wanted you could call it whatever you like then you have if input dot get key down all that with capitals in front of each letter um bracket key code e again you could have this as you could have it as x for x-ray if you wanted or 
C for see true. Wait, C for see true. Really, Flan? You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, but you can do it as whatever you want. It does not matter. I actually can't believe it. It said C for see true. I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, but then once you have that, you do and you do uh, the squiggly brackets at the end of them. Then rend dot share material, which is the material up here that you're getting the render or rend, and make it equal to X-ray. So the X-ray material you put it in here, and then you make another one on trigger exit, which is when you leave it, and you're not pressing anything. This you don't need to look for anything. You could do. If input dot get key up, I tried it, didn't work the best. Um, but you then revert it back to its original material. I was being stupid and I uh, when I done this and tested it for about five minutes, I couldn't get it to work. And I realized I didn't have a rigid body on it. So all you need to do is add component, look up rigid body, click it, it's saying here you can't do it because you already have one. And you, you could have it as use gravity if you want. That means it's going to rock back and forward and it's going to actually be, you, it's going to start falling and all, pretty much to use gravity. I just turned that off and use kinematic. That just makes it where it will be frozen in place, where physics aren't really applied to it. But it's weird what kinematic is. Sometimes it does stuff and then sometimes it doesn't. It's a bit iffy on if you want it to work. This could be used for um, like a multitude of things. This could also be used for like if you wanted something to change the material as if you were like painting on a wall. So just to show you if you were going to do that, you could walk up to something and then there, change the material. It's like you painted it, but then you would have it where it wouldn't change back. So you could kind of do it as if like you upgraded a base and then the base got upgraded and now turned from wood to stone or uh, like metal to whatever is better than metal but um i believe that is it like it's it's a very simple script again sorry for not really creating this and typing it out with you it's just again i don't 100 percent understand it just because i'm not the best with the renderer i don't really know that the best i know it more for java than i do for c sharp and i tried this script in java and i couldn't get it to work so hopefully you guys can get it to work. If there is any problems, ask me. If I left something out, most likely I did. I'm kind of rushing through this one a little bit. But um, hopefully everything worked well. I was going to create a new scene and actually make this, like, a, make a new world so I don't have to keep using my horror world thing. But for the, for the purpose of it, instead of me making a new scene over and over again, just to show you is that this does work on anything and it's not just that. I'll click this wall. Uh, I'll use a uh, rigid body, add one to it, do this, um, go up here, paste the script in. The normal material is what is already in it, so I have a seamless wall. So let me go to my materials, seamless wall is my normal, and x-ray, I just have that as glass. You could advance this a little bit further, which I might do in a, a separate video, where you could do like a The Last of Us type thing. I'm trying to find glass. Uh, you could do The Last of Us, where once you're looking through the wall, if there's an enemy on the other side of the wall, make them glow orange or whatever color so you can kind of see enemies in the world. I might do that for you if you want. So let me just show you here. So if I walk up to this and press E, you can see through it, which isn't really going to be the best because like, you're going to see my world is broken. But you can see into the bedroom. You can see that it's working. So you would know if there is an enemy... I don't have the key for this door, do I? Feck. Um, let me just... Go away, mannequin. Just to show you that it does work. So if this mannequin here was chasing me, as you can see it is, close the door, please. You would be able to go here and then click through the wall and kind of see if the rest of the walls had the material uh, script on it. I thought it was all one part, my bad. But it could be used for that purpose. Actually, wait. I'll show you. I'll show you it working. My bad. I'll just get the mannequin to run in here with me. Okay, so the mannequin's in here with me. So let me walk away. And then if the enemy was in there and you didn't know, you could go. And then look and be like, see the way the mannequin's actually moving towards me? Because 
it just went through the world. <laughs> no, that's a glitch I'm going to have to fix. But um, just to show you is there that it does work on anything. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did find it useful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what I should do next. I'm thinking next I'm going to do a a type of um, Widowmaker hook effect where you throw your hook and you get pulled to it. Or a scorpion effect where you throw the hook and you pull them towards you. I don't know. On top of that, I might be doing either like a teleportation effect where you can kind of phase through walls depending on if they have a certain tag on them or not. And also you could use this script in one other way, I forgot to mention, where you could add um, like another part to it, but then change this to like lead and then make it where you can't see through it if it's made of lead. So it has like a Superman effect where... Because I've been watching a lot of Supergirl. That's kind of where I got this idea from. But um, yeah, you could you could put like lead in it and then make it not been, be able to look true. So it could be pretty cool if you do that. But anyway, that is it. Uh, as I was saying, actually, I might be doing a teleportation effect where people can kind of phase through walls like um, Second Sun. The way when you have the smoke ability, you can kind of phase through walls. But um, that is it as far as I'm aware. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in another video real fucking soon. Bye. Bye.